New spending policies are headed to Lexington Richland District 5. The move comes following a procurement audit finding more money mishaps. News 19's Peyton Lewis has the information on what the audit found and why the district is making changes. After publishing phase one of their procurement audit in late June, a Lexington Richland 5 school district committee continues to meet to update spending policies. Why are we elected? If, we're, if my job's not to see that these policies are being carried out properly and that we have the best policy to keep anybody from misusing one dollar. The district is reviewing their spending history before 2016. So far, they found that purchasing cards had been turned down on several occasions for trying to purchase items that would not be approved by district administration. We don't know who was trying to use the cards. We had found in the audit there were several P cards where certain items were turned down. Uh, I think one was, um, you know, a lady store and uh, one was um, had to do with a uh, I, I think a church, you know, but they were turned down, so it wasn't misused. It was called. The district also had construction work that was paid for, but never completed. I think we had, had both of those situations on the last project because we started out with a consultant who, by the way, was never voted on by the board. When I went back and looked at the contract that they signed without being voted on by the board, it did not include the tasks of construction project representative. The committee decided to update their policies to be more specific with what those purchasing cards can buy and who can hold them. And they'll continue to work on their policy for overseeing construction work. Reporting in Irmo, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX. Well, phase two of the procurement audit is expected to be finished sometime before the end of the year.